Small cell lung cancer has represented one of the greatest challenges in cancer treatment with little progress against this aggressive tumor type seen in decades. Now, a new treatment approach is available to patients. Joining us to share more about this complex disease and the latest advancements is Dr. Paul Burton, Senior Vice President and Chief Medical Officer at Amgen. Hey, Dr. Burton, thanks for joining us. Good morning. Hello, thank you for having me. Good morning. Yes, for sure. So why is small cell lung cancer so difficult to treat, doctor? Yeah, so small cell lung cancer represents about 15%, so one in seven of all of the cases of lung cancer diagnosed. So here in the United States, that's about 35,000 people a year are diagnosed with small cell lung cancer. Mm. It's very aggressive. It's difficult to treat because it grows very fast, it spreads, spreads early, and typically it presents late. So patients only find out that they've got it at a late stage, and that means that on average, only 3% three pe three of people uh, with this extensive stage disease will be alive five years after diagnosis. Mm -hmm. And when you think about that in terms <laughs> of, of months, it means on average, their survival is only three to five months after that time of diagnosis. So it's important, <laughs> important type of cancer, mm -hmm. very aggressive, very hard to treat. Those yeah. numbers hit home. Yeah. What, what is this new treatment that's available for patients now? In 2023, Amgen presented the results of a clinical trial of a medicine called Indeltra. Indeltra is an antibody that has two arms. One of the arms grabs onto the lung cancer cell, the other arm grabs onto a patient's white blood cell, and it pulls the white blood cell into the cancer, and it unlocks the power, it unleashes the power of the patient's own immune system in a very directed way to essentially kill the lung cancer cells. Now, I mentioned that on average those patients will survive for about three to five months. We found and were thrilled with the results of the study that their average survival was 14 months, so essentially a tripling of survival. Um, now we think this is a potentially transformative new treatment for these patients and based on those results last week the FDA granted accelerated approval for Indeltra for these patients with extensive stage lung cancer. They want more studies to be done and we're doing that. But this is a really important finding. Yeah, that, that's huge. It yeah, sounds like a big huge. breakthrough, tripling the expectancy after diagnosis. That's amazing. Dr. Burton, where can people get more information about this new uh, approach to treatment? Yeah, absolutely. So, look, there are severe side effects that are associated with the medicine, and patients need to know about those and talk about them with their physician, their oncologist. Best place to go is in Delta.com, I M D E L L tra.com and there they can get information about the disease about the medicine and then have those discussions that's it dr thank Burton, you thank so, you so much. much for your so time. fascinating yeah. information i know our viewers would love to hear thank you so much doctor yeah great thank you for having me absolutely that's fascinating Alyssa. yeah I well mean, and I'm it's 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 the way that technology and and medications and things are continuing to grow yeah. and uh those researchers uh who have created things like this i yeah. mean just Amazing. fascinating yeah and the tripling the expectancy from three months to 14 months is a huge breakthrough yeah. so something to be celebrated i know more tests are going to come so hopefully we see something uh, great in the future because of that absolutely